Whether you're wanting to listen to music or make calls on the go, the ability to connect your smartphone to a vehicle is a deciding factor for many when searching for their next car or van. The traditional methods have been via a Bluetooth connection or a good old-fashioned aux cable, but nowadays manufacturers have integrated your smartphone in a more immersive way, predominantly through what's known as Android Auto. In this video, we're going to run you through what Android Auto is and how to use it. We've also taken a look at Apple CarPlay, which is a similar system designed for Apple phones, and you can view that video by clicking the pop-out above. Android Auto is essentially a system that mirrors your smartphone onto the display screen within your car, allowing you to adjust various settings using an interface that you're already familiar with. Various apps are available, and you can even use Google Assistant voice commands to change music, call a friend, or set a route using your chosen navigation application, allowing you to keep your full focus on the road. Navigating to Pendragon PLC. By the way, next time you can also press and hold the mic button on your steering wheel to ask me anything. Android Auto first came to market in 2015. Although you'll need to check whether your car is compatible, as not all cars are. To enable Android Auto, you'll first need to connect your phone to your car. To do this, simply plug your phone in using its normal charging cable and a prompt will appear. Accept the prompt and the Android Auto interface should automatically activate on your car's display screen. If it doesn't automatically appear, you should be able to access Android Auto via your car's infotainment system. You may also need to ensure your phone is set up for Android Auto by checking the restrictions within your phone settings. Wireless smartphone integration is another emerging feature, so if your car has this capability, you'll be able to connect to Android Auto using Bluetooth. If you're already familiar with an Android system, then navigating the Android Auto menu will be straightforward. It looks like a simplified version of your phone's home screen, providing access to various applications that enhance your driving experience. Activating Google Assistant voice controls is also a convenient process. Simply say, hey Google, and the desired command as you normally would, and the system will complete your request. This allows you to skip songs, change destinations, and call a friend without having to take your hands off the steering wheel. Various third-party applications are compatible with Android Auto, including Ways for Navigation, Spotify for Music, and WhatsApp for Communications, keeping you ever connected with your vehicle. Once your vehicle and phone are connected, there's no need to reconfigure Android Auto. Simply turn your ignition on, and as long as your phone is connected via its cable or Bluetooth, it should automatically activate the Android Auto system. You can also head back to your car's default infotainment system through the Android Auto menu, allowing you to adjust other settings that don't feature as part of Android's setup. If you do want to disconnect your car from Android Auto, you can do this by forgetting the device within your car or phone settings. If this video has been useful to you, then please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up to date with our latest videos and tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.